Hey boys and girls, welcome back to SK Songs. Our first song is Praise You the Lord. So the girls will be with Abby and Serena, and the boys will be with me. And you kind of have to get up off your seat and go up and down and up and down. All right, it'll start out with the girls. Hallu, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallu, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Girls, stand up. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Great singing, guys. Awesome. Now you want to do the other way around? Oh yeah, now we're going to switch it up. And the boys are going to start up with me. We got the hallelujahs. Ready? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Great singing. Our next song, The Lord's Army. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry. Shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. Awesome singing, kids. So our next song is from a passage in the Bible, and I totally lost my spot because my phone is so heavy. But I will search. Them. Hold on. I'm and gonna pause. My Right, oh, look, back. she found it. She found it. <laughs> yes, it's from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17. And it says, And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have uh, power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses all knowledge. So, our next song, Deep and Wide, is talking about God's love. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. And in this song, we also take out a word sometimes and we'll hum it instead. So Miss Michelle, do you have a word for us to take out? I think you should take out fountain. Oh boy, all right. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a mm -hmm flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a mm -hmm flowing deep and wide. Hmm, what's another song word to take out? How about why? Take why? Out why? Okay. Right. It's getting harder. Yeah. Can you do it, kids? Deep and mm -hmm. Deep and mm, there's a mm, mm, flowing deep and mm, deep and mm, deep and mm, there's a mm, mm, flowing deep and mm. Awesome job, that was really hard. Should we do another word? Last word. All right, it should be hard. Take them all out. Oh, no. them all out. <laughs> Ready, kids? Still do the actions, though. Mm, and mm, <laughs> wow, I can't say great singing, but that was great action. Great humming, great humming. <laughs> See you next week, girls. Bye. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Senior Kindergarten. I hope you enjoyed lesson one and maybe that we've gotten to know each other a little bit on the videos, on the Zoom call. So, and I also hope that you've been practicing your memory verse. Last week's verse from Isaiah 46, verse 9b, 
I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. So last week we talked about how special God was and all those words that describe him that we found from verses in the Bible. This week on lesson two, this is the one where Abby get, yeah, sorry, I'm ahead of Abby. Lesson two, where God created the world to show how special he is. And you remember last week we looked at this photo frame that talked about the character of God. And remember that, that, that the frame was empty because no one's ever seen God. We can't have a picture of him in there. Like you would maybe have a picture frame at home. Maybe for the Zoom call, you could bring me a picture frame and you could show me some of the pictures that you have around the home. Because I think that we would like to see that, all of your teachers on the Zoom call. So this picture frame, we filled with words. And where we got those words was from the Bible. Because God tells us all about himself in different verses in the Bible. The one that we're going to talk about today is happy. And we know from the verse that we read through the Bible that God is happy. And he's happy in himself. He doesn't need anything outside of himself to make him happy. And do you know what? When you're happy, you kind of want people to know it. I'll have you come back to me, Abby. When you want people to know that you're happy, how do you think that you would want your face to look? Do you think it would be like this? No, that's not how you'd show you're happy, right? If you're happy, you're going to have a big smile on your face. Maybe you're going to cheer. Maybe you're going to jump around. And maybe you're going to laugh when somebody says something funny. Now, God's like us too, that he, or we're like God. And he wants to show how happy he is. And part of showing how special he was, was to create things. So in the Bible, God said that he created things. So in Genesis 1, Right at the start of the Bible, Genesis 1, verse 1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And you can see on this picture many of the wonderful things that God created to show how special he is. Let's look at each of these. And you can, I think that you're going to see some things that you really love. Now, this is the sun. God created the sun. And you can, you can open your window and you can peek outside and you can see that the sun is there. If you stand outside, do you feel warm when the sun is shining? You can feel its warmth, can't you? You can feel and see the sun and know that that's real. And God wants you to feel that. Next, God created water. He created water that we can just pour right out of our tap and you can have a drink and it can taste good and it can uh, soothe you if you're thirsty. The other thing about water, you can jump in it. Oh, I bet you like to swim, don't you? I do too. I love to jump in the water. Even if you're at a place like this waterfall or at the ocean, you can feel some mist in the air, can't you, from the water. So we can taste and we can feel that water that God created. Next, we have land. And this picture shows some parts of land that I really love. I love the mountains. You may really love the beach or maybe you like a nice farmland with some cows. And these are wonderful places that God has created. He formed the land to show how special he was. Next, he formed some plants. And these are some beautiful flowers and trees that we have here. But I bet you know lots of plants that God made. I bet you like to eat some of them, don't you? I bet if you're like me, you like to eat plants. But also, we use plants for our clothing we use them to make things that we can use around our house, even the paper that we write on for school. And you know what else? These plants, these flowers can smell. There are lots of ways that God uses those to show how special he is. Next, ah, you're going to love this one. Oh, good. Abby's going to move me so you can see that beautiful peacock. I bet you have a favorite animal. I have loads. And you can see in here, there are so many different kinds of animals. I think God was really creative when he made plants and animals. You can see the little baby gorilla. Can you find another little baby? I bet you can. There's a couple of babies with a big mama in the middle. Yes. So God created all of these things as ways to show us how wonderful he is. Abby's going to go to the next one. He's the most special person of all, and he wants to show that to us. And so by reading his Bible, we can learn about him. But by looking around, by tasting and touching and smelling, we can see how special God is. So this week, our memory verse says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. From Psalm 19, verse 1. 
So these are so many ways that we can uh, know how God is special. And remembering that verse can remind us that, that something that we see or taste, it's not just that thing. It's not just a flower and that's ordinary. That flower is God and that flower shows how special God is. God made that flower to show us how wonderful he is. All right, so work on that memory verse and practice that. Let's, um, oh yes, we have a little game that help, that we're gonna practice some movement. So you can, you can stand up. We're gonna practice this and, and I'm gonna use this spinner. I'm coming up to the camera and I'm gonna hit this button and it's gonna spin and we're gonna do some actions. We're gonna show you what to do in just, when it spins, can you see it spinning there? Oh, it's gonna stop. Where will it stop? Oh, what's that? What's gonna come up? The oceans and the clouds. Now, if you wanna be in the ocean, you could be swimming. You could be swimming. You could be going down in the ocean. If you wanna be a cloud, you could be a big cloud, cloud like that, on the ground, like a big cloud. All right, let's try another one. We're going to spin. These are all things God made to show us how special he is. Let's see what's going to come up next. Oh, this one. At the end of making, of making everything, and we're going to talk about this more later, God took a rest. And rest is a wonderful thing that God made. Yep, he made it and it's important for us. All right, one more. This is the last one we'll do for this week, but we'll do it again next week and you'll see more things. Oh, oh, what's this one going to be? Oh, the land, plants, and trees. You know what? I bet that's showing up completely opposite in your screen and you might not be able to read it even if you can read. But land, plants, and trees. So we can be trees or you could be a pretty flower, maybe a tulip. Yep, or a great big tree maybe blowing in the wind. All right, excellent, excellent. Okay, so we'll try that again next weekend. I'm sorry, if you can read and you can't read that because it's backwards, I hope you like the colors and the spinning was fun for you anyway. All right, so let's close off in prayer. Now, normally, I like to know what to pray for you, and I guess I'm going to guess that you're going back to school. And we talked about this last week too, but I'll pray for you about that because I'm sure there's still lots of things going on with going back to school. And Abby and Serena have gone back to school and so you could pray for them about that. All right, let's put our fingers up in the air and clap our hands together and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you so much for all of the things you made that show how special you are. Today, I thank you for cats and birds and for some of my favorite plants. I like corn on the cob and I like tulips. And I thank you, Lord, that you made everything to show us how wonderful you are. Lord, I pray you would be with all of the kids as they're back at school and just pray uh, for any trouble they might be having or, or tiredness or stress they might be having at school, at home or at school, in the school. And I pray you'd watch over and protect them. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right, so now we have the physical activity video with Ainsley and Hadley. And then after that, you have the craft video with Andrew. And so if you make those crafts that you that Andrew's showing you to make, anytime, anytime you've made one, just bring it on the Zoom call and show us what you've made. And we'd be so excited to see it. All right. Bye. Here comes Adley and Hadley and Ainsley. Hi, everyone. It's Ainsley and Hadley, and we're going to do physical activity with you guys. So we're going to start off with some stretches. Let's stretch all the way up to the sky. Wiggle a little bit and then all the way down to your toes. Shake it out. And Hadley is going to do three exercises with us. Okay, let's get our spinner out. Let's see. <laughs> Bunny hops. Okay, right. I think you guys know how to do this. Ready? Just little hops. Ready? Let's do 20. Ready? Go. One, two, Make three, your arms look four, like a bunny. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Awesome. Okay, nice. let's see what our next one is. We'll do one, two more. Crab walk. Oh boy. Okay, ready? All right. 
Go down on your back, up on your feet and your hands, and then walk around like a crab. <laughs> I don't know what sound a crab makes. Yeah, I don't know. Make whatever sound you think a crab makes. Yeah. He's like, tick, 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 the rocks. <laughs> All right, last one. Oh, crab walk again. We're going to switch that. Flamingo. We did this last week. Ready? Stand on one foot. See how long we can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Five more seconds. Ready? Three. Two, one, <laughs> nice job. All right, awesome job, everybody. We'll see you next week. <laughs>